were we talking about? I made him cry one time because I hurt his feelings. How am I gonna do that to my kid? No drugs, no drugs, no drugs. Like I was on the verge of crying. Separation anxiety. Stay at home moms are so blessed. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Gemini Therapy. I'm Lindsay. And I'm Claudia, and you're now tuning in to episode five. Ooh. Six. <gasps> Six. That's true. Okay, either way. Okay. Y'all know what we're talking about. <laughs> Anyways, guys, today we do not know what to record. So we're literally just going to sit here, start eating, and see what comes out of our mouths. <laughs> Pretty much. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's do it. Okay, don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video with your friends and family. Also, don't forget to hit that little bell button to get notified every time we upload a new video. So. Okay, so we are eating. a lot. I'm going to put my phone on silent real quick. A lot of you... Wow, so that's a loud crunch. Oh, a lot of y'all said that y'all didn't mind that we were eating when we were talking. Mm -hmm. And our schedules are kind of tight right now. So this is like perfect for us to come during our lunch break. We picked up McDonald's because it's the fastest thing here in town right now. Not the healthiest. Yeah, but anyways. Okay, so bad days. I think I've had bad days. A lot of bad days. We have bad days. We always have bad days. And the thing with... I feel like the thing with us is that you know when we're gonna when we have bad days. Mm -hmm. Like we walk in, and we're like, oh, it's not it today. Yeah. Like you know that you know my bad days. Aside from my face saying it all, mm -hmm. you yeah you know when I'm when it's one of those days. Mm -hmm. But I feel like a lot of days come like a lot of things can trigger my bad days. Like what? Like I can wake up mad. Like automatically. Mm -hmm. Like, I'll just wake up and I'm in an upset mood, whether it be because I didn't sleep enough or because I don't, like, I'll just wake up upset. Mm -hmm. Or some everything in the house can go wrong that morning mm -hmm. and just ruin my day. And I, I have a very hard time of saying, like, reset. It's okay. Yeah, like, don't, don't take your problems to work. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But at the same time, like, yeah, you're not going to go and ruin everybody's day, but your it's mood is still... It's just hard to get out of it. I'm like yeah. that, too. I'll like, like that. Like, I'll already start the day bad, and I walk into work, I'm in a bad mood, and I see you, and I try to, like, make it go away, mm -hmm. but sometimes I just can't. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How do you get rid of it? I don't... I think... Honestly, honestly, like... I, I literally talk to myself and I'm like, okay, breathe, breathe. Like on my way to work, mm -hmm. or I'll pray, and I'm mm -hmm. just like, give me peace, give me tranquility. Let me just get over it, move on, deal with my emotions later, get it together, have a good day at work. But half the time it doesn't work. Well, <laughs> God doesn't answer prayers right away. <laughs> <laughs> like you, you attract the energy you let off, basically. Mm -hmm. Well, I want to be happy all the time. Well, it's hard. Like, that goes, sorry. Ew, don't talk with your mouth. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, that goes back to your bad days. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. some days that you're feeling down because of Lucia or your dad or whatever. Mm -hmm. You can't just get over it. You have to let yourself feel those emotions because if not, like, that goes back to us saying it's okay to not be okay. Yeah. Because those are the emotions you have to feel. Mm hmm I'm like throwing my chicken nugget at you. I know. You're going to punch me with your chicken nugget. Because you also want to be able to feel those days. Sometimes, though, I do, like, just block them out. As much as I try. But, like, because like, you're at work or? 60% of the time, I'll try to, like, mask it. And, and then it just, it's those things that just pile up and pile up and pile up and pile up until I can't do it anymore. And then I have, like, that really bad day. And on that really bad day is when I'm going to let myself just, like... Have it. Yeah. But usually, like, I'll tr like during the week especially, like, I'll try to just ignore it. Or I'll wait till, like, I'm out of work to just go home and cry or do whatever I have to do. I feel like cry sessions are very important. They are. Like, in my opinion. I don't know how people don't cry. Bert. Ash. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I know. Like, and that's why they say, like, Bert and Ashley are always saying, like, oh, I'm a cancer, I don't cry. Gladie B is a cancer. Like, and Wait, she, she cry? cries. She cries a lot. 
Like she'll send me snaps and she's just freaking crying and I'm like, why are you crying? And usually it's because of her period. Mm -hmm. Her period's coming and she's just crying. Mm -hmm. But she shows emotion. Like she cries for everything. Like if the last time I told, I think I texted her like uh, it was like a super cute TikTok Mm -hmm. of like best friends. And I was like, this is me and you or whatever. And she was like, I'm crying. Like it wasn't Mm -hmm. even sentimental. It was just cute. (laughs) Or like if I tell her like, um, like a story between me and my dad that we went, let's say we went out to eat together and he bought me a purse. But like, those oh. stories always make you cry, dude. I'm crying. But not me. Well, I know, but because she's very close to her dad, too. Oh, well, yeah, maybe that's why. Like, I don't even know her, but I know that she's very close to her dad. Mm-hmm. From what I've seen, like, off Facebook and stuff. Yeah. So I know she she has feelings. So I don't think that Brett and Ash don't cry because of their cancer. I think they don't cry just because they don't know how. Oh, well, that sucks. No, I'm just kidding. It's 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 okay if you don't cry. Like yeah, that's that's what I'm trying to say. Like crying is good for you, but if you don't cry, then that's okay cuz I'm pretty sure that they express themselves in different ways. Maybe they cry alone and we don't even know. Have you ever seen Bert cry? I've seen that man cry twice in your whole life. In the 15 years that we've been together, it's twice. And one of the times, I don't know why the hell, like it was the stupidest reason to freaking cry. Was he laughing? No. It's because I broke up with him. (laughs) Lindsay. The tea. So he cried for you. Yes. And that was it. It was, hopefully he doesn't watch this because he's going to be like, I can't believe you said that. (laughs) But I'll tell you guys. Can I say it? We're spilling the tea? I mean, I guess. We're talking about it right now. Do we? I mean, let's go in. Let's just say he cried that one time. And then the second time, no, three times. The second time I saw him cry was when his sister passed. Mm -hmm. The third time was with Lucia. And that was the last time I ever saw him cry. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. I thought he cried for you twice. No, I'm not that special. Yes. Remember the first, whenever he left to Waco, to Waco. That's that time. Marky cries when he's hurt. So, like, whenever his mom went through everything that he went through, he cried. What's wrong? Why are you crying? Don't tell me that. Well, it's true. Like, he won't cry because he's mad. Like, I cry when I'm mad. Mm -hmm. I cry when I'm happy. I cry when I'm sad. I cry for everything. Yeah, like, and Marky cries when he's sad. So, like, when we went through what we went through with his mom, he that's when he would show his emotion. Like, a lot. Um, Like, other than that. Just for his mom. Like, is that the only time you've ever seen him cry? No, I've seen him cry for other things. Like what? I made him cry one time. What did you do to him? No, actually. He's a sweetheart. I know, but I made him cry one time because I hurt his feelings. What did you do? I'm going to punch you. I can't say it. Why? It's a it's a long story. You can tell me later? Mm-hmm. Okay. Am I going to cry? No. It was like an argument, and I said something that hurt his feelings. You were a bitch. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but I was crying too. Yes, he hurt my feelings first. So I had to hurt them back. Oh. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, how are you going to make me cry and I can't make you cry back? <laughs> <laughs> but I think he cries when when I cry. Like when I was crying about baby and like not being able to have her, whatever, mm-hmm. whatever. He I would cry and he would cry with me. But not all the time. Is he like the, like, it's okay, babe? It's He's a very happen. comforting partner. Oh, but it's not. Like, when my grandpa passed away, mm-hmm. I remember uh, we went to the hospital the day he passed. And then I cried, like, normal, you know, like, just tears. Mm-hmm. And I think two days later, I was in the shower and it hit me. And I cried, like, I let it out, like, a loud cry, like a like hysterical crying you know like i just let it out Mm -hmm. and i remember like because in our shower we have the shower head like over here and then we have like a little seat like you know where you can like shave your legs and stuff oh yeah yeah, that's true you went to my house okay anyways so i sat i was sitting there and i was just sitting down like crying and crying and crying and crying and he came and he opened the door and he was just like letting me cry but like he was there like he wanted to know you know what i mean like he wanted me to know he was there that's cute. So he does that. Or like if I like when I would cry about not being able to get pregnant, he would like hug me and just hold me and let me cry. That's very nice. That's very good. 
Mm-hmm. I think that's one thing I didn't mention in last time's video that I really like about her. His comfort. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't have that, but I think it's because of the way Bert was raised. So he doesn't know how to like comfort people. Like he's very awkward. Mm-hmm. So like if he tries, it's it's still kind of like like you're trying, but it's not enough. Mm-hmm. But I don't hold it against him because well, because of the way he is. Like he himself doesn't show me his emotion, so I can't be like be there for me because he doesn't even know how to cope with what he's going through. I feel like that's how I see it. He could say otherwise, but that's the way that I see it. Yeah. No, it's understandable though. Yeah. But like, like if I'm crying or whatever, obviously he's going to ask you what's wrong, whatever, whatever. Yeah. yeah. But he's not going to be like, babe, it's okay. We're going to get through it. Like, like come like, here, mama. Sit no, me. fuck. No, never. <laughs> uh-uh. I have to like, like go through it by myself yeah and with Grecia like I'm more of that parent and he's very like just let her like let her be and like I'm let like, her go no. through it alone yeah and I'm like I'm not gonna do that to my kid I would never go and cry with my mom when I was younger so like and you I see I kind of see Bert's side yeah. I, I don't know I can't speak as I can't speak for market because I don't know mm-hmm. but I would never go and be like, Mom, like, I'm having a bad day. Blah, blah. And that I was, was never. No, my I would never. was literally my best friend. Like, I told my mom everything to this day. I would tell my mom everything, but not like that. So that's probably why, like, he is the way he is. And with Grecia, like, I want to make sure that I'm going to be her mom, but also try to be, like, her best friend. That's what I've been telling Marky, like, it's going to be hard to find the boundary between mom and best friend. Like, I want her to know. I want her to have, because it's not that my mom didn't give me the opportunity. My mom would always try with me mm-hmm. to, like, tell me, like, to ask me stuff and for me to open up with her. And I would, mm-hmm. but I wouldn't open up much about myself. So I'd kind of open up about, like, what's going on with my friends, what's going on at school, what's going on. My mom knew everything. Whether like it was else. me being at a party I wouldn't lie to her. If it was me being out with a friend, like mm-hmm. um, on a date or whatever, like I never lied to her where I was, who I was with, what I was doing. But when it came to like opening up about like a boyfriend or um, like special things in my heart, I wouldn't. And not because she didn't ask me to, but because I just wouldn't do that. But when it comes to my kid, I want her to have that confianza like, yeah. mm-hmm. like my aunt's daughter mm-hmm. um aubrey the oldest one mm-hmm. she's very open with her like she'll go up to my to my aunt and talk to her with her feelings mm-hmm. and i was not like that so i'm hoping my daughter can be like that with me but it's at the same time you figured it would you figure it's gonna be hard because nowadays everything's so different so what if they take it as like oh my mom's my friend not my mom no i'm your freaking mother like that's where you have to i think if there's any mothers out there give us your opinion on how you all do it because yes give us advice (laughs) because it's gonna be hard especially with the i feel like moms now like the moms right now that have teenage daughters like give us your advice because i feel like it was Times were very different. They were. Times have changed, and it's not... Like, we can't raise our kids the way that we were raised. Mm-mm. Because, no, I mean, no, no va. It doesn't... Mm-hmm. It doesn't make sense. And as much as, like, I'm very... Like, at my house, we had to be... I had to be home by 10 o'clock. How am I going to do that to my kid? Like, the party's barely starting at 10. You know? Yeah. I get you. And I, oh, granted, she's only five years old, but with the way that you see things now, like parties nowadays. Times are just changing and it's probably going to get worse. Parties are going to start at one when Grace is in high school. No, I'm going to be like, Mm-mm, you can have the parties at our house. Like, mm-hmm. I think that's the, like, I think that's kind of like the solution that you have to, like, get them. But a lot comes with that, too. That's a lot of responsibility on you. It is. But I'm also not going to allow, like, freaking drugs and drinking. Well, yeah, you say that, and then nobody's going to go. 
I'm telling you because oh. my sorry. I'm telling you because my dad was like that with my little brother. Mm -hmm. So he would tell his friends, all right, party at my house, but you guys can't smoke weed. And they'd be like, all right, so where are we partying? Like, they didn't want to go. So what do you do? Because you don't throw a party. So then I'm supposed to let my kid go to somebody else's house who's going to allow drugs? And what if she doesn't even like to freaking? Yeah, what if she doesn't like to party? But I'm just saying, like, you in see? that situation, yeah. that's what I would see with my brother. Mm -hmm. Like, his friends would rather throw the party somewhere else so that they could be doing whatever they wanted to be doing mm -hmm. than follow the rules that my dad put on my brother's parties. And then I feel that if you say, like, okay, you can smoke weed, but let me know, that's giving them too much, like... Oh, yeah. Like, you're letting them... I'm going to tell my... Look, this is what, this is what happened with me. I'm, I'm thirsty. You can have some. I'm thirsty, too, but I feel, <laughs> I feel bad because you're not drinking. My mom would always tell me not to smoke weed. Like, my parents always like no drugs no drugs no drugs mm -hmm. I, I have smoked weed before like I've tried it I think I I think I've done it like five times okay but but they allowed you to no 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 oh sorry sorry, sorry. they don't know <laughs> well now my mom knows my dad probably knows but he doesn't know you know like she does it sir <laughs> <laughs> no I did it in high school. I'm not going to lie. I mean, I, I feel like it's something that everybody tries. Mm -hmm. However, I'm not going to be the one to tell my... Like, I don't think I would be like, Sabes que, mijita, if you're going to smoke... Do it around Do me. it with me. No. I know parents like that, though. But my... I did that with my little brother. I did that with my little brother. Like, I told him, if you're going to smoke, smoke with me for the first time or whatever, whatever. And he did it. Has he smoked? I don't know. I don't ask him. But... I would hate to give my daughter, like, I would hate, like you said, I would hate to tell her, like, if you're going to smoke, smoke with me. And then she feels like, oh, okay, well, I can smoke with my mom. It's okay to go to a party and do get drunk and her. do drugs, you know? But you know what? Growing up or, like, in high school, I was never at parties. I was never, like, out. I wouldn't go cruising. I wasn't drinking. I wasn't doing much less doing drugs. Like, I still don't drink alcohol. I don't like it. I never found like the purpose of going out and make literally like making a fool of yourself because that's the way that I see it. Like, what's the point in it? You have fun. Yeah, but you can have fun sober. Yeah, I know that now. Like, you totally can. You definitely can. I would go out to parties, mm -hmm. and I don't think you necessarily get drunk, drunk. Like the times that I've gotten like super wasted, like blackout wasted. Mm -hmm. I was already out of high school with Marky. Mm -hmm. Like that in high school, it was like was you would go buy a six pack and share it with your friends because you can't buy beer. So it's whatever they buy you. You know what I mean? Yeah. And there's like five of us and you share a six pack. You have one beer. It's like, oh, OK. Mm -hmm. OK, then what? You know what I mean? Like it doesn't <laughs> hit you. Yeah. So but yeah, I get you. You can not have fun when you're not drinking. I mean, I you definitely can. And that's the way that I saw it. Like. My first party that I went to was graduation night, and it was only because Bert was DJing at that party. If not, your I senior have year. Went. Yes, that was the very first party I had ever been to. I remember the first party I went to. My dad literally dropped us off, me and like four <laughs> others. We were there for like an hour and a half, mm -hmm. and then, because he wanted us home early. Yeah. And so he dropped us off. I think it was New Year's. He dropped us off, picked us up an hour and a half later, and that's it. An hour and a half, no mm -hmm. mas. You see, like... I was a freshman, dude. Oh, mm -hmm. that you were a baby. Mm -hmm. But at least he trusted you. That And that's another thing. Like, my mom always trusted me. So, because they trust you, or you trust them, what if they feel that they can get away with so much more? I think, and it's true, but, in like, in my experience, it's because every kid is different. Like, my mom, like I told you, my mom knew everything about me, mm -hmm. and she trusted me. She knew everywhere I was. By the time that somebody would call my mom and she tattle and tattle on me... You had already told her. She already knew. I would sleep at my friend's house and call her and be like, hey, mom, we're going to go to this and this party. We're going to be out, blah, blah, blah. I'll text you when I'm home. Okay, mijita, have fun. Bye. And I would sneak out of their window because their parents didn't know. <laughs> like, wow. so, like, my mom always knew. And with me... 
I would sleep over at my friends' houses all the time. But I feel like people just, because I can swear on it, we would never go out. Literally, our sleepovers were munchies and movies. You see, we would have those nights too, like girls' nights at home. That's all we would do. Like, we would just have a good, like, a fun time at her house. But she had brothers. Aye. Yeah. So, but they knew, like, her parents were always there. Um, her brothers were, like, my brothers, like, literally, like, watching over us like hawks. And I remember several times people would tell my mom, like, que me habían visto dando la vuelta and stuff. And I'd be like, when? Would you, would you, I know, I know who you're talking about. That's why. Mm-hmm. Would you guys go outside when they would have parties? The guys, the brothers? Y'all would, y'all would stay I inside? I think we did like twice, but they wouldn't allow us to. They would tell you to go back inside? Yeah. The older ones. They'd be like, metense pa dentro. It wasn't until I was a little bit older that, because you know, the things, the, everything changes. And I think that was like the one party that we were able to stay outside, but we were already like sophomores or juniors in high school. So, like, my freshman, sophomore year, I was always, uh, like, over there. I think it wasn't until, like, sophomore year, junior year that we were able to, like, that they would let us like stay go outside. Out. No, not even go out because we would stay there. Oh, like, like you mean at their party, like, the stay parties, outside. The parties, yes, Ian, there. Mm-hmm. And, like, all the guys would go there, but we were stuck in her room. I feel like we didn't party until we were, like, junior and seniors. Mm-hmm. Well, I never did. Like, my partying was at their house, but like I said, I was in her room. Like, senior year, I did. I did party. You know how we're saying that times change and stuff? Mm -hmm. What if, by the time our kids are in high school and stuff, Mm -hmm. partying isn't even a a thing thing anymore? Like, what if Zapata grows and finally we have, like, a main event or something and they have... Because, honestly, that's that's what's bad about here. We don't have anything. We don't have anything to, like, distract the kids. Like, okay, so what do you do after a football game? Well, go eat and then go party. You go to someone's house. It's not like, oh, well, let's go to the movies or let's, let's go, go bowling. Let's go bowling. You can't because you don't have that here. Yeah. Would you be the parent? Like, right now, um, I saw this mom ask on Facebook the other day. Her daughter was 12 years old, mm-hmm. and the little girl kept telling her mom, like, to please let her go to the movies by herself. Or not the movies, the mall. Mm-hmm. And she told her mom, like, let me go. You can go watch a movie while I'm with my friends. Mm -hmm. And then a lot of the comments were like, was let her go, but walk behind her. Like, give her her space, Mm -hmm. but watch her. I think I would do that. Only because the way that things are right now. It's scary. Mm -hmm. Like, they can get snatched. Yeah, that's that's what I'm going for. Like, right now, things are so bad, like men are just everywhere trying to kidnap little girls like you read so much stuff yeah you know what i mean Mm -hmm. or like sex trafficking is really bad right now like so i remember being there and i remember going to laredo with my friends and my mom would do that Mm -hmm. as long as we would check in so like we all had our cell phones Mm -hmm. and as long as we would check in with her it was fine Excuse me. But we were always in the same place. Like, if I was at the mall, she was at the mall. Mm-hmm. If I was at Walmart, she was at Walmart. But we would go our own way, you know? Yeah. Like Now I that have, I'm a mom, I don't know how my mom did it. Like, I have really bad separation anxiety from Grecia because... But dude, I she's think, barely five. I know, but I've told you before that it was so hard for me to, like, let her go, for us to go out mm-hmm. to, like, dinner. Because I always felt... And, and I know that it's going to, like... I'm going to have to work on it because it's going to... She's gonna it's gonna be you hard. For it. Yes. But my I feel like the reason behind it, like right now, what freaks me out is I'm not there. And I don't want anything to happen to her because of what we went through. Like I already lost one daughter. Yeah. So what if something happens to her and I'm not there? Or what if something happens, even if she scrapes her knee and I'm I'm not there to comfort her? Like, who else is going to do that? I've, I'm her mom, and I should be there with her, for her, 24-7. And I, I understand, like, where that comes from. And I, fe- I feel you. Like, I, I don't have, I haven't had my kid yet. But, mm-hmm. I fe- so I, but I know where you're coming from. But at the same time, if it happens at school. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Like, she's going to fall. She's in the playground. She's going to get hurt. They're going to send her to the nurse's office. 
The nurse is going to comfort her. All the nurses that we have in school, thankfully, are super nice. Mm -hmm. So you know that she's going to get that comfort. And then once you get home, you t she tells you about it. You kind of try to like, ay, mami, uh, let me check it, whatever, you know? Like yesterday, I felt really bad. Why? Because she threw up at school. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't there to pick her up. I'm going to cry. But you have to work. Yeah, I know, but I wasn't there. Like, I wasn't the one. Why am I crying? The fuck? She just threw up. But I wasn't the one who picked her up. Who like, picked it up was your my mom? mom. And my, like, I called my mom when I went to the bathroom. I called her. How is she? And she told me, La tengo acostada. I gave her, like, some Gatorade. She's relaxing. She's on her iPad. And I was like, okay, but how is she? And she's like, literally, she's fine. She just had a lot of phlegm, so that made her throw up. And then she threw up again, phlegma when i was eating dinner but i was already there for her so mm -hmm. i like i cleaned everything up and i was like let's go like take a shower i'm gonna go lay down with you in bed and literally like we freaking cuddled while i was editing the this video the video yes but i just felt like i had to i had to i have to do it because you're her mom yes you see and i feel that way like i feel like in in that way like i understand where you're coming from mm -hmm. But at the same time, it's not healthy for us to be like that because, like I said, like, we have to work. Like, yeah. in order to provide a life for them, we have to work. And that's something that it's taken, like, I literally have to repeat it to myself over and over again because I'm already, I'm, I, if you don't know me, uh, <laughs> I suffer a lot from worrying about the future and what I cannot handle mm -hmm. or what I cannot fix and what I cannot take care of. And I mm, over, like my mind just gets on it and I don't get over it and I want to control it and I can't. I get you 100%. Like, just the other day I was telling Marky, like I'm, I was literally about to cry, like I was on the verge of crying, telling him that I don't want to have my kid and have to go back to work. Mm -hmm. He's like, you haven't even given birth. And I'm like, I know. But I know that after my maternity leave, it's going to be so hard. Why? Because I'm going to be waking up, dropping her off at my in-law's house or my mom's or my dad's, whoever's going to take care of her that day. Mm -hmm. And I have to be away from her from eight in the morning to five o'clock at night and then get home and what? Sleep? Change her diaper one more time and go to bed? Like... You know what I mean? Yeah. So I get where you're coming from, but at the same time, it's life. Like, It's hard, dude. Like, Because even whenever I started working, it was hard. And you were a stay-at-home mom for how long? Like, from when Gracia was born to how old was she? She was three and a half. And I had told Bert, like, I want to work. I want to start working once she starts school. Mm -hmm. So I started, like, a year... Before. It's only like a year before school started. Well, that's good, though, because she was able to get used to being, being away, away from, from you yeah. at the same time being at home because she would stay with your mom. Yes. And then I would tell Bert, like, maybe I should wait until she actually goes to school. But then he was like, but she has to get used to being away from you because literally we would eat, sleep, shit together. Like, <laughs> I couldn't go to the bathroom because I iba detrás de mí. If, and, and that is a big thing that she struggles with right now because she has separation anxiety like now that she's at my mom's house if it's just them two and they're in my mom's room if my mom gets up and goes to the kitchen she's gonna freak out and she grandma grandma where are you grandma so if she doesn't tell her like she panics like mijita i'm gonna go to the restroom real quick. like she has to know where has she's to at to tell her i'm gonna go to the laundry room i'm gonna put in a load after this i'm gonna go to the bathroom so she knows constantly where my mom is at. And she'll tell you, like, Grandma, I'm going to go to the kitchen. I'll be right back. So my mom will know, too, like, where she's at. Mm -hmm. So I feel like it's already affected her. Because even when we were, like, at the house, if we were in the living room and I went to the bathroom, if I didn't, if she was, like, like in on her iPad and she didn't see me walk away, if she picked up her head and I wasn't around... She all would hell freak. would break loose like she would freaking cry like scared because she didn't know where i was and i feel like that's that's kind of like normal and i get scared because like another reason that I, it hurts me is because i think like you have such a close bond with grecia because i was able you to were be able to her. be with her 
what if like with me i'm not there every day mm -hmm. like yes i'm her mom and yes i'm but we're not gonna have that every bond. single day one-on-one -on -one bond and that's what scares me like i remember one of my friends complaining that her in-law her mother-in-law would take care of her son when he was a baby and as he was growing up he started calling her ma instead of grandma mm -hmm. and that hurt her a lot yeah and i would hate to go like i don't know like i feel like it's i don't want her to feel like anybody else like and it's not like you're always gonna be her mom yeah but as a mother at the end of the day it's like you want to be there yes so it's kind of hard like that is hard dude i can't help you there like it's gonna i'm not gonna have that time to bond with her you know mm -hmm. and that's what hurts but I can't do anything about it. I can't. You have to work. I have to work. Yeah. Like, it's life. It's either that or she doesn't have food on the table. Right. She doesn't have clothes. She doesn't have a place to live. You know what I mean? Yes. Oh, my God. That's so hard. And it's like, and that's what I see. And I, and I literally told Mark the other day, I'm like, stay-at-home moms are so blessed mm -hmm. because they get to be with them. But in the eye of a stay-at-home mom, you're going crazy. You're going crazy. They don't even want to be there. They wish they could work. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, dang, I'm so mad. We only have eight minutes left, dude. Well, we'll that talk. was such a good one. Well, no, we'll just keep talking about it next video. And then what do we run out of things to say? We're not going to run out of things to say. Maybe we can get a stay at home mom to come and talk with us. <gasps> Maybe. Anyways, guys, our time is up. Unfortunately, this topic got real good. We didn't even know what we we're going to talk about. <laughs> we're like, what do we talk about? What do we talk about? And look at us now. We it just went off. I told you, I was like, what if we just sit down and I just ask you, how are you? Yeah. And we just go from there. So that's basically what we did. Don't even know the name of this video or whatever, but. Parenting. I don't know. Parenting struggles. How to. I don't know. I don't know. Bad days. Good days. Bad days. All good days. days. All right, guys. Well, thank you guys so much for watching again. Thank you for all the support. Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, mm -hmm. share this video with all your friends, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye.